Do you want to learn how to make this trending ripple effect for your edits? Hi guys, today, I will teach you how to make this trending ripple effect. Sorry I wasn't active for over 3 months cause I was busy, but now I'm back, and I will try to upload regular videos in. So without wasting any time, let's go to the After Effects. So first ready with your composition, and add your clips, and do head tracking. After adding clips, do Twixter and Zooms. You can find those tutorials on my channel. Now make adjustment layers on both clips which you want to make ripple effect. Add BCC Ripple Dissolve on the first one and copy my settings. You can also change the color. Set these two values to minus 70. Now simple reverse it by doing this. After reversing, if you are facing this black glitch, then just cut the first keyframe of the adjustment layer. Do the same thing with the second adjustment layer except reversing. Now make an adjustment layer on the both clips and add S underscore shake. Now copy my settings. Now make the keyframes at the beginning, middle and end of the adjustment layer. The keyframes at the start and the end remains zero. Set the starting and ending keyframes values to zero. Set your main value in the middle keyframe if you are not satisfied with this, then you can also do yours by playing with the values. Set your main value in the middle keyframe and easy ease them by F9. Now open graph editor and copy my graph. Now make two more adjustment layers and add Glitchify effect to your second adjustment layer. Now copy my keyframes and values. For Glitchify, the starting and ending keyframes will be zero and the middle keyframe will 20. Easy ease them and copy my graph. Now add S underscore halftone effect to your third adjustment layer and copy my settings. After that make opacity keyframes and set the middle keyframe value to 70 or whatever you like. Easy ease your keyframes and go to graph editor and copy the graph. You can change the color also. Now for the smooth black bars, make a black solid on the top of all the effects and add CC Jaws to it.
set the height to zero. Make three keyframes of completion and set the middle keyframe value between 70 or 80. Easy ease your keyframes and copy the speed graph. Now you have to add your best color correction for the best quality. As you can see by adding good color correction increases quality, and also you can get this CC from my shop. If you like this tutorial, then please like and subscribe my channel, and give suggestions for more tutorials. See you soon guys!